Hi, I'm Karan. In this video, we'll talk about crustaceans. So, have you guys ever ate a shrimp? Well, if you have, you or if you haven't, you might have you might have some idea of what crustacean basically looks like. But this is a large group of anthropods, and it's surprisingly diverse. So, shrimps and lobsters are crustaceans, but so are tiny brain shrimp, or better known as sea monkeys are also crustacean but it's a different group so let's go ahead and, uh, and move on to the video to learn more about crustaceans okay so what are crustaceans well crustaceans are basically a group of arthropods that have two distinct sections a hard exoskeleton let me just write it down so crust uh, crustaceans are basically a group of arthropods that have two distinct body sections hard exoskeleton and we know the function of exoskeleton already because we talked about anthropods and that we also mentioned that anthropods have exoskeleton so exoskeleton is basically a helper and we also compared exoskeleton to the armor of a uh, knight okay so if you don't know what exoskeleton is there's a link right here you can click on that and know, know about anthropod first and then come back to this video so it has hard exoskeleton now it has two pairs of antenna and then one pair of appendix okay and this is per segment okay so like we mentioned that like fish uh, lives in ocean so does the uh, crustaceans live in water as well but they evolved uh, in, but crustaceans basically evolved in the ocean itself now most of them right now uh, basically you can find crustaceans near salt water environment now you might be thinking that uh, well in, uh, like we like I mentioned crustacean evolved in the ocean well you might be saying that well the uh, all the animals that live uh, live right now live in the water have been evolved in the water well it's not actually true not all freshwater species that re live right now in the water have that have uh, they, do, they did not not all of them evolved in the ocean well some of them and those some of them evolved to uh, to survive on land and then they moved on to the ocean and that uh, that's how they went there, but before they actually evolved on the land. Now what we are going to do is talk about its anatomy and its part and structures. So now as we know that we, as, uh, as every animal you see, even the dogs, they come in different species. Or when we say species, we mean breeds. Some are tall, some are big, some look different. Okay, so there might be differences in crustaceans. So because there is a uh, uh, because it, crustaceans come in different shape and sizes they uh, they are vital to sta stability of aquatic ecosystem so they make they when they're living inside the ocean they make vital to to stabilize the uh, aquatic uh, ecosystem so let's go ahead and move on to the video in which we will talk about its uh, its anatomy and its features that a crustacean have so here's uh, crustaceans okay so some species such as uh, the wildly spotted reef lobster right here as shown in this uh, figure uh, are predator of marine fish uh, and worms so while others scavenge uh, dead animals and plants most importantly crustaceans are a significant food source for large larger animals right so large uh, crustaceans such as the shrimp, the particular type of lobster right here, and also crabs are primary food uh, sources for fish, birds, seal, and even humans because uh, after all humans eat uh, crustacean animals as well. 
but there are also numerous species of microscopic crustacean such as uh, krill and uh, copepods which are very small as adult but they are so abundant that they can constitute as important food source for fish, whales and many species of filter feeding crustaceans. So as you guys can see this is a crustacean body and this is a particular type of crustacean. So crustacean bodies are basically made up of two distinct body sections, a clusterophorax and an uh, abdominal. So a clusterophorax is a region of an organism in which the head and the trunk region are combined into one long section. The abdomen refers to a rear portion of the organism over here. So the clusterophorax is covered by a shield-like section of cuddle called carapace. Now what is a carapace? So carapace, basically what it, the function basically, the function of it would be that it covers the side of the body and protects the gills. So the side of the body as you guys can see over here and here is protected by carapace right here. And like we said in the video, uh, uh, crustacean has two antennas, okay? So uh, you can basically, f this is a type of crustacean, so you can basically figure out and get the image of wh what crustacean look like because this is the best image uh, you can get of a crustacean and this is particular type of crustacean. So the largest crustacean have a cuddle layer uh, with calcium deposits that make up the car space a uh, hard shell. So this is the reason uh, because the calcium deposits over here, it makes it even harder and harder each time. So the shield that is, uh, so it can protect the whole uh, interior body, so it doesn't get hurt. So the like we said, what is a car space? Uh, car car space. Well, it basically covers uh, the side of the bodies, as we said, and it, the main function of it is that it protects the uh, gills by which the uh, crust uh, crustaceans can breathe.